Okay, I'm recording. This is Cy Hulse, who is a fantastic member of Crossroads Church. Cy, I heard you were born in Germany. Tell me about that. How old were you when you left Germany? I was two weeks old when I left Germany. My father was stationed in Rome. He was a military spy. And it came time for me to get born, and my mother refused to have a baby in Rome because of the Italian hospital. So they flew me to Wiesbaden and the big Air Force hospital there is where I was born. After two weeks, I was flown back to, uh, back to Rome, and that's, I was there for three years, so I learned, I knew Italian before I knew English. I had to learn English when I came back to America. That's absolutely amazing. <clears throat> But what I want to focus on now is the, the missionary work you do at Crossroads. What first got you into missionary work? My wife took a course, um, took a course called Perspectives, and I thought nothing of it because I didn't care anything about missions. Couldn't have cared less. And one of the speakers uh, was at North Avenue Church, and she taught, convinced me to go hear this speaker who was like 90 years old. He was the fourth person that joined Wycliffe back when there was nobody, and he worked in Mexico most of his life. And I did it as a favor to her, and the guy was absolutely fascinating because there wouldn't, initially there wouldn't be anything I'd be interested in. Uh, but he was really, really, really interesting. And then I went on the, the trip to Jamaica, whenever that was, 15 years ago. 18 years ago, something like that. And that was pretty good. Uh, and then for about two years I debated going with this friend of mine who lived in North Carolina. And they went to the Dominican Republic and we talked and talked and talked about the whole purpose of short-term missions and what we do and this and that. And so I went on that trip. It was a seven-day trip, eight-day trip. And the next year I did a double uh, back to back. And I was pretty much hooked just by getting outside the United States. Okay. Do you find the missionary work particularly rewarding? Yes, it's very rewarding, uh, especially if you can see the good things you've done. Um, I still have uh, a lady, one of my best friends. <clears throat> whose house I painted, but who runs a Sunday school class during the week. Uh, she still, we're friends on Facebook, she still sends me stuff. Um, I communicate with the people down there in, in one of the villages that we've worked in. And um, it gives you great perspective on, on how rich and how easy we have it in this country. That, that's amazing, and we at Crossroads really appreciate that. But one of my concerns is, do you ever, is it any danger doing missionary work in, in other countries? Uh, yes and no. Some countries are much, uh, are, some countries it's no big deal. Uh, we've, we've been in the middle of a couple of civil disturbances in the Dominican. Um, we've been in jails that were pretty scary, um, but we've never personally, never personally felt threatened. Uh, one of the girls on our, who went on our trip for six or seven years in a row, ten days after graduation from college, she moved to Haiti. She moved there. She lives there. And she, I pray for her safety every day. Yeah, Haiti's particularly dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, it's fairly dangerous. You're a single white female, and you are very far away from the capital. She has a lot of real, real good friends. But, yes, things can go bad very quickly. This is to say nothing of people who work in the, in the Muslim world, in the 1040 window. Uh, and their lives are, they hang in the balance, if you, based on what I hear. Well, Sal, we love you, and I'm going to make it a point to donate on your next missionary trip. You one heck of a guy. Thank you. Ah!